All right, so we talked to two men who know the value of a really good idea, and I got mm -hmm. a chance to meet them not that long ago. We continue our conversation with the Local Inventors of the Year winners. And then we have Dr. Roland Ning, who's joining us, and, and you came up with a very interesting uh, invention here. Uh, it's in the field of cone beam CT imaging, and I know that uh, it's been used in breast tissue imaging, and it's amazing how it can save lives, right? Yes. Talk about what your invention does. Okay. I have developed a uh, technology called Cumbian Breast CT mm -hmm. for breast cancer detection, diagnosis, and treatment. Mm -hmm. This uh, technology will provide a true 3D image. 3D image. Of without the... compression. Um, you know, this will actually detect uh, breast cancer much earlier compared to current standard technology like a mammography, mm -hmm. uh, we can detect uh, uh, breast cancer around uh, three millimeter. That's amazing. So you're able to detect tumors when they're even, they're really, really small. Right, without a uh, without, without compression, a spreading, like without a compression, and also because in the medicine, when only about a three millimeter breast cancer usually is not spread, mm -hmm. so it's very early detection and can significantly reduce the cost of a treatment. Uh, up to the 90 percent. That's a you can reduce the cost of treatment up to 90 percent. Yeah, because it also significantly improve the quality of the patients. Right. And and the quality of life of the patient. Yeah. And then also in the future we will use this for the breast cancer uh, screening, and then most of the patient probably that most most women doesn't need. Right. Don't need have a screening every year. I see. How about okay. it can be three or five years? So this is revolutionizing the way that women are, are screened for the uh, for breast cancer. This is incredible, but this is the exam this is just two examples of ways that a good idea can go really far uh, and improve lives and, and even the environment in our community. It must feel really good to be able to honor people like this. That's right. That's right. At the annual award event um, we hope uh, that hopefully that we can elevate the status of the inventors and their technology and the inventions with, within their organizations. Yeah. At the very least, um, at, the end of the, at the end of the event, we hope that the, all the uh, nominees will go home uh, 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 thinking, you know, feeling good about themselves and about uh, their inventions and their work. You felt pretty good, didn't you? <laughs> yeah, I did. <laughs> you certainly were very honored. It's really nice to have you both here, and it's great to see you again. Yeah. Thank you for joining us. Thanks for having Thank me. You. We really appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks You're welcome. I know you were so impressed by them. Yeah. I just want to see that. I like them. I really enjoyed that group, and they want to seek out some really great inventors. People, these are people who work for Kodak, mm -hmm. Xerox, the big names in the company, and then they decided to strike out on their own. Cool. So. All right, coming up, the top frequently asked questions on Medicare's role in end-of-life.